Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This time I want to make a silver flower with a light blue background. So I'm starting mixing my colors. There you see me pouring the clear into the cups. And for this I'm using for my center the Ice blue, it's a chunky glitter from Laura's Art Corner. Yeah, this is my last of it. <laughs> so I th thought just put everything in there. And I have this cosmic holographic glitter also from Laura's Art Corner. I mixed this together. So this is going to be my center and look how shiny it is. I really love it. It has a very icy look to it. This is a silver pigment paste and I'm using just more than I would do for the flowers when I'm using the white pigment paste because the silver, it's a metallic, but it, it's also more transparent than, yeah, it's not opaque like the white. So now I'm taking my cosmic glitter and the holographic glitter and I put two spoons or popsicle sticks of glitter into my silver. Actually someone in one video of mine made a comment and she would have liked to see the holographic glitter together with the silver pigment paste. So I thought I'd try to do this with a flower and yeah let's have a look how it's gonna turn out. There I mix a cloud blue from Petra Jungblut and this blue is really one of my favorite colors because it has this golden sheen to it and it's so awesome, beautiful, really. It's an interference light blue. So I have my colors mixed and I'm putting the resin into my mold. The resin I'm using here is the Ultracast resin from Stefanie Etta. And I make sure that I fill up my mold. Yeah, it takes a little bit till I have my resin into the mold. I hope you don't mind. Yeah, the mold I'm pouring in is the Magical Mold. It's a mold from Molds and Shapes. I link Molds and Shapes into my description box. And if you use the promo code PT5, you get 5% discount. I also link Laura's Art Corner into my description box. There I also have the discount code. It's PT10 for 10% discount. So just check it out. And I also link Petra Jungblut into my description box because she also has very awesome micas like i said the blo um, cloud blue is really one of my all-time ever favorite micas it's it's really amazing yeah there you see me just popping some bubbles getting them to the surface then i use carefully the heat gun just to get rid of some of the bubbles. Yeah, you're always busy quite a while till, till you are sorted and sometimes at the end you still have one or the other bubble. Well, I don't know how it is for you, but it happens with me, so yeah. But you see, I'm, I'm quite busy now. I'm using the torch. Always be careful using the torch or the heat gun, just not to burn your resin or your mold. So now I'm going in circles. <laughs> yeah, I have just shown it um, with my silver. 
yeah and i had not such a steady hand as you can see so yeah i went with my cup into the the design <laughs> But it just happens. So I'm doing this for all the four coasters. Just going in a spiral. Yeah, not every day is the same. So... Your hand is not always as steady. Yeah, and then I thought I, I better do something again. But then I thought, no, better not. <laughs> Just put your glitter into the center. That's what I thought. And that's what I'm doing. My glitter mix. I guess from there you cannot see, but the silver is quite sparkly from the holographic glitter and I'm curious how the silver is going to react. So now I'm just drawing my petals and I'm just going from inside out. I don't make any particular design. You see, just where the narrow parts are, the narrow um, bows. I'm just going from outside in. Did I say inside out? Now I go from outside in. You see what I'm doing. Also this I'm doing for all the coasters. And the last one. So, and now it's time for me to get my cloud blue. And I'm just pouring around the silver flower. This I've done many times in the past. There are quite a few videos where I'm doing this. Because I'm hoping that the blue is now dragging on top of the silver and that it's giving it a nice background. So instead of pouring this into two steps or whatsoever, I'm doing this afterwards. I mean, in the same pour, in the same... Yeah at the same time and not as a second um, layer after the flower has been cured. Sometimes it's not so easy to explain what you mean. <laughs> well, so again, a quick torch before I can take you down for a close up. There I was thinking to, to draw a little bit um, of the design again in the blue, but then I thought, no, better leave it. So this is a close-up, and at the moment it looks a little bit strange, to be honest. But I'm very hopeful that the blue will, yeah, will drag into the center and on top of the silver. But we will see. So next day, uh, day, time for the molding and I'm very curious, from this side you can see that the blue really dragged to the center. It's covered nicely and the sheen of the blue, this golden sheen and then the silver, I think it looks awesome from this side. And I'm very curious about the other side. And voila, well, <laughs> I love that the gold 
from my, my cloud blue color, separated from the blue. But I'm very irritated with the silver flower, but I think it's from the glitter, that the glitter um, yeah, eats the pigment paste. I had it already with mica. I mean, the flowers are still nice, but they're not classical flowers. I could also not say that they are blobby, but but they are just, yeah, they got eaten up by, by the glitter, I think. However, I still like the effects. This is the close-up. You see, it looks very plastic, um, plastical, if you know what I mean. And um, yeah, actually, I don't know if I like them or if I don't like them. So I'm very curious about your comments. But it was worth a try to put glitter into the pigment paste to see how it's reacting. In any case, the coasters have a great depth. So I love to leave you with the final product. I hope you liked this video. I hope um, I could show you a little bit. And if you liked the video, I would be happy for a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed to my channel, I would be happy if you would do. And yeah, leave me a comment what you are thinking. Take care, guys. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.